7.5 JavaScript to show or hide prompt controls. In HTML language, there is a tag called span. As the name suggests, this tag allows us to define a span or area and give it a name. Using JavaScript, we can then manipulate a named span. For example, turn off the visibility and turning it back on. In this video, we will see how to use it to show or hide a prompt from prompt page. Because Cognos prompt pages are web pages anyway, we don't have to worry while using the HTML items and JavaScripts on prompt pages, as they will always work even if the final output format is PDF or Excel. We will use our report from previous video, 7.4, which shows order data and the JavaScript selects latest date from the list box prompt. In this video, we will add radio buttons and perform show and hide on the list box. So let us open our report and save it as 7.5 JavaScript to show or hide objects. Now let's go to the prompt page and firstly we will drag a new HTML item to display radio buttons. Drag it from toolbox and place it before the list box. And now double click on it and define the HTML item as shown here. Basically we are writing code to display two radio buttons. They will display two choices, latest date and select a date. Depending on which one user clicks, either hide prompt or show prompt function will be called. Hit OK to close it. And from properties window, add description as radio buttons so that it is easy to identify this HTML item. Next, we will define a span to include the list box prompt. For that, drag two HTML items and place them before and after the list box like this. For the first one, define it as span ID equals A1. Hit OK and provide the description as span begin. And for the second one, just put span closing tag like this and describe it as span end. And finally, open the HTML item that is already holding our JavaScript. Let us add two more functions to this JavaScript called show prompt and hide prompt. You can download the script from our website along with the other report samples. Basically, these functions are turning off the visibility or turning them back on for span A1, which will in turn show or hide the list box prompt. Hit OK to close it. And now let's validate the report. And once the validation is successful, save the report as 7.5 and give it a run. We can see that our prompt page now shows us two radio buttons, which is generated by the first HTML item. If we select latest date option, the list box is hidden because the visibility of span is turned off. The list box parameter, however, will still work and the other JavaScript has already selected the latest order date, so it will be fine. If user selects the second option, then list box appears again and user can now change the order date 